Those county fair games are fixed. They must be. You would have won something too, Charlie. Thanks. I knew something was weird about that fair. Dad, what do you make of that? I think those are potato plants. And I think we should be going now. Glow in the dark potatoes. Sounds pretty good to me right now. You and your potatoes. You must have had three orders of fries today. My parents cut potatoes out of our diet because of their allergic rashes. Now I'm scrounging for every chip I can get. We're going to be doing some scrounging tomorrow for clues. My vampire senses are sprouting. Hmm, a fenced-in pond. What are they trying to keep out? Charlie, maybe you can look into that barn. I think I see one glowing. Listen to this. The ingredients include jellyfish. No trespassing. Get out. Not until you explain these glowing potatoes. And jellyfish in the seeds? That's nothing. Just potato seeds genetically spliced with jellyfish genes. They glow when the crop needs a water in. Are you saying that the potatoes tell you how to run your farm? No way. Well, sort of. It's just for saving water. Remember that heat wave? We gotta conserve water. If you're so environmentally friendly, why are you littering your field with this seed bag? This bag should be in the recycling box. You better be gone when I come back, you hear? Jellyfish and potatoes. Who knows what creepy creatures could emerge? Look! Potato fish! They're heading towards that factory! Mona! I've been captured! If you don't leave right away, I'll call the police. What happens when people eat potato fish? That's what we have to find out. Poor Blitzy. He's locked outside of his house. Mrs. Frierson! <laughs> what was that? Blitzy was locked outside. Oh, my goodness. I was so caught up in my lounging, I forgot poor precious Blitzy outside. I'm so sorry, Blitzy. It's not like you to forget about Blitzy even for a minute. Yes, I, I feel just awful. What's wrong with me today? I think I know. <laughs> Come on, have a bite. Your brain would make such a nice, cozy home. <laughs> uh oh, I'm feeling tempted. Charlie, no! It wants to live inside your brain. <laughs> Go ahead, run away. Spud's potato fish are everywhere. Tell Spud that he'll be dealing with Mona the Vampire. Good dog, Blitzy. Now we can relax in front of the soccer game together. It's nice to have our brains turn to jelly. This is getting serious. We need an adult witness. The farmer? No, my dad. He saw it with his own eyes. I'll have a talk with him. We'll meet you outside. Dad, we met the farmer of the glowing potatoes. Can you file a complaint for us? Against the farmer? No, the farmer works for Spud, the leader of the potato fish. They're part potato, part jellyfish. Why are you home from work? Funny thing, we got the morning off. Yikes, don't lose the ball. Sorry, Mona, a bit distracted by the game. Okay. It's not like Mom and Dad to lie around eating a bag of chips. There must have been a potato fish in that bag. I'm calling an emergency meeting at Zapman headquarters. My basement? Good idea. It's probably the only potato-free zone in town. It seems like the whole town is just vegetating in front of their glowing TV sets. What does that have to do with jellyfish? Let's see. It says here that jellyfish are animals that simply float in the water, waiting for their food to come to them. That's what's happening to the town. People just sitting there. Turning their minds into jelly. Officer Halcroft needs to hear about this. <laughs> Hi, kids. Talk about a slow day. 
Not anymore. We have an emergency. Potato fish are living inside people's brains, causing them to stare mindlessly at the TV. Go! Didn't you hear? People are wasting away in front of the TV. There's no law against that. Someone passed me some more fries. We'll have to handle this ourselves. The only way to get real information is to hear it directly from a real potato fish. Maybe we can find out more about their leader, Spud. My favorite chips! No! We don't know which ones are real chips and which are potato fish. This is the real test. I knew it! The potato fish are somehow linked together. Now I'm free from the chip bag! Spud is transmitting. We have no natural home or habitat, so we must find our own. Just as our leader Spud promised! Hmm. It's time we paid a visit to the factory that made these. Transmitting, they start to glow. The glowing could be an energy transmitter. We gotta deactivate the leader, Spud. Potato fish, potato fish, your brain is what we wish. Potato fish, potato fish, what a tasty dish! We can't let them make it to the factory! Ugh. Yeah, they're too slippery! It's... It's Spud! You have done well, my potato fish. Stop the intruders. We need some fish to occupy their brains. Soon we will have every brain in town. <laughs> you love potatoes. Go ahead and have a bite. I suppose one couldn't hurt. Spud! I've found another home for one of your beloved potato fish. Well done. Now you can relax again. It's so great not to have to think, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Is there a TV around here? They've got Charlie! <laughs> That's it. Water stops the glow. That's how we can disconnect them from Spud. We gotta lead them to water. Okay. Boy, am I hungry! It's working! Watch this! Hey, potato fish! Need a place to stay? Ah! Uh... in the water, they just sit there like jellyfish. But there are so many more, and Charlie's under the spell. We have to get Spud. The game's over, Spud. What's your problem? We're actually helping humans to relax. Just sit back and wait for things to come to you. But humans can't relax all the time. Nothing will get done. My parents will always be at home. Oh, come on. Give relaxing a try. Instead of all this paranormal investigation activity, open wide! <laughs> the brains of our town are safe again. Spud is a dub. This country air is relaxing. Oh, geez, look at the time. I've got work to do. My parents are active again, Fang. 
I guess we should probably help the farmer clean up the mess back at the farm. I guess these newfangled glowing potatoes wasn't the best way to save water. I'm going back to watering them on a schedule. Hey, Mona, why'd you stop working? I think I'll just relax and watch TV. Just kidding. <laughs> Since when do you wear curlers? Great Aunt Beatrice arrives today. So? So? So look at this place. It's a mess. Aunt Beatrice is a world traveler. She stays in five-star hotels. What will she think when she gets here and sees this? Well, it's not like we're charging it, right? Mona, when was the last time you gave Fang a bath? Wow! How long will she be staying with us, Mom? Probably until she finds another husband to hang out to dry. <laughs> Mona, why don't you go and clean up your room? Sure. But does that mean I get to stay home from school today? <laughs> Miss Gatto, may I be excused? Now, settle down, class. We'll resume our study of entomology. I've got a special treat for you today, the Black Widow Spider. Can anyone tell me what the difference is between these two spiders? Charlie? One is a harmless household spider, and the other is the most venomous spider in North America. That's correct, Charlie. This is the Black Widow. She has a distinct red marking on her abdomen. And this ingenious female Black Widow spider knows just what to do with unfaithful dates. Uh, I mean, mates. She devours them. <gasps> How does it feel to be hung out too dry? is making such a big deal out of this, Fang. Is the doorbell broken? Oh, I'm t terribly sorry. <laughs> Don't be silly, darling. I was just kidding. <laughs> and this darling must be Donna. It's Mona. <laughs> Get the cat away from me. Oh, I, I can't stand cats. Where is the powder room, darling? I need to freshen up after this fright. I'm sorry, Aunt Beatrice. Please, follow me. Maybe I should bring Aunt B in for entomology week at school. Wow! Mom, can I go over to Lily's? Oh, darling, don't come and sit with us for a bit. Here, I brought you a little something. Aren't they lovely, Mona? Aunt Bee just came back from Belgium, where they're renowned for their lace work. Look what she brought me. Um, thanks, Aunt Bee. Mom, can I go now? Please? So, do tell. Are there any eligible bachelors that you can set me up with? Oh, oh you are terrible. <laughs> Mona's principal is single. <gasps> These are beautiful, Mona. Lily, didn't you hear a word I said? Yes, I did. Your Aunt B is a black widow, and she's come into town to find her next husband, or eat her next victim. Yeah. And her next victim? Husband number four? could very well be Principal Shobley. I'm not going near her. Can I have these gloves? Now, honey, you know how I feel about you playing matchmaker. Aunt Bee's a great catch. She's elegant and rich. Yeah, and you and I both know how she got to be so rich. Aunt Bee and Principal Shobley would make a great match. Or what about Officer Halcroft? 
You know what they say about a man in uniform. <laughs> before she strikes again. She could be lurking anywhere. Mona Parker, please report to the principal's office. Mona's in trouble! Mona's in trouble! Now settle down, everyone. Oh, Mona, I just met your Aunt Beatrice. She's a lovely woman. She's waiting for you in Principal Shabley's office. that I bring it to you. Here. Mona Parker, you know the rules. No vampires allowed in school. Now go and take that ridiculous outfit off. <clears throat> we wouldn't want your aunt thinking this school didn't have a proper dress code now, would we? I didn't forget my lunch. Mom packed it into my Von Creepsula lunchbox, like she does every day. Yes, well, my mistake then. Oh, I'm terribly sorry to have taken up your precious time, Principal Shawbly. You must be a very busy man. Uh, that's all right. I'm not that busy. Then perhaps you have some free time after school today to show little old me around this fine town of yours? You can pick me up after school is out. You know where to find me. She's trapped Principal Shobley and is about to pull him into her web of deceit. How do we stop Principal Shobley from going out with the Black Widow? Principal Shobley is in charge of the detentions this week, right? I don't want a peep out of you. I'll be back. I will not run screaming through the halls. Vampires rule. I will not run screaming. Okay, the coast is clear. You guys know what to do, right? Yeah, but we really don't want to rat on you, Charlie. You're one of us. Thanks, guys. But this is for a good cause. I will not lock the computer dweebs into the computer lab. How Principal Shobley find out? Email. If we keep him this busy, there's no way he'll make his date with the Black Widow. I wonder how Lily's making out. Principal Shobley, you've caught me about to deface school property with graffiti art. You'll have to bring me to detention, right? Lily Duncan, you know better than to do that. You're lucky you're on the honor roll. I'm releasing you on your own recognizance. Uh, Zatman, do you have your Zapparama with the bug spray? Check. And Princess Giant, do you have the bug grenade? Check. Good, let's bust a bug. Over there! That's Principal Shobley's car. Aww, they're kind of cute. Hello? Let's not forget who's on the menu. <gasps> Hello, Donna. Don't you think your principal would make a suitable mate for me? <laughs> it's Mona. And we know exactly what you plan on doing with him. Well, I'm glad to see that you're learning something at school. I guess we have Principal Shobley to thank for that. Zatman, no! <laughs> What'd you do that for? Pest control! <coughs> Out of my way! Who are you gonna call? Oh, no! She's after Officer Howcroft! <laughs> <laughs> Princess Giant! 
Don't! Don't! A man in uniform! Mona! Help! Do something! No! No, I can't scram! So why didn't Beatrice decide to leave early? I don't think she liked sleeping in our guest room. When you're used to five-star accommodations, a single bed doesn't quite cut it. Well, I think this place is better than any five-star hotel. Here, here. 